Hello everyone, it's me Ryan Haider from Ryan Tech and today I would like to talk with you about something very interesting. It's all about Kali Linux operating system. We are going to review Kali Linux operating system today. So let's start. There are some applications, places. So first of all, let's check some applications. There are many divisions of these applications. So you can see that there are many kinds of applications in here and let's check something very interesting before checking that i would suggest you to subscribe my youtube channel if you haven't yet so let's start first of all we are going to trust an ip address which means we will trace the location of a website let's check it out first of all type ping then type the targeted website i will use Google as an example <coughs> let's hit enter so you can see that there are some IP addresses just copy one and let's go to ice whistle the browser and now go to Google just type IP location tracker go to the first link paste the IP address and press IP lookup now scroll down and you can see that the location is already been traced it's so easy and you can easily hack any website with this so let's check something we are not going to hack today but we will show you something let's test some SQL injection Let's go to this website. So first of all we will check the security if it's vulnerable. Yes it can be hacked. So let's try to hack it. Let's copy this site. And then we will open another terminal and just paste the site and type dbs and wait for some time sorry you can see that it's working <coughs> you can see that it's hacking So it will take some time to hack but you can see that it's already got many informations about that if we wait for some time we can see that there will many informations like query headed below so I will suggest you to try this operating system let's just keep it in background and check something else there are many other tools like Google Chrome files, leafpad, leafpad is a kind of 
notepad which can be used to, to create various kinds of databases like text databases or number databases you can type anything you want I'm just showing it there are some other systems which can use by many other options let's just check something all of these are mostly used by terminal let's check some of them you see it's kind of terminal let's use it see you can easily attack anyone by this tool so there are many other tools like this there are mostly more than 1000 tools but you can easily add much more than that you can easily hack Wi-Fi with this all these tools are useful let me show you let me show you a good tool like this this tool can easily hack any Wi-Fi networks so that's all for today I will show you all those hacking tutorials in the next few tutorials so please subscribe my youtube channel and I will surely send or share much more tutorials that you will always be needed thank you for watching my tutorial please like share and subscribe thank you